started to fall and come alive again. Sometimes words are not adequate enough to describe how I feel and what I am going through. Feelings for me have roots and structure, color and depth, and this is why I have felt the need to bring my feelings out by expressing them artistically. I do not see myself as an artist, though. <laughs> times of anger, many times of anger, um, and sometimes I have bottled that anger, which has gone out, come out inappropriately at family or friends. It is very alive and moving round at varying speeds. It is black because black is a color I feel as heavy and uncontrollable. The red spikes are fierce hot energy that my anger inside seems to generate, like I'm going to explode. 
This description on reading seems that I might be violent, but I do not really feel violent. I feel full and need to let off steam. Like a balloon blown up too tight, I need some air let out. I do not want to burst. Anger, I believe, or I've come to believe, is very healthy when able to be expressed. It is a part of who I am, and I'm slowly learning to acknowledge its presence as a part of who I am. This is a difficult one. Fear keeps us alive. Too much fear can cause us to seek isolation, be a recluse. I see my fear as a mixture of coming and going, taking steps forward, taking steps back. My fear of dying has come very prominent in my mind, something I would casually accept before the accident. Now it's like I'm in deeper. My psyche has experienced a major trauma, and life and living is not so casual. Things seem dark. What was happening, or what had happened? My creation of fear and it's scary and painful and I feel very vulnerable <laughs> my fear is an emotion that has changed my life's experiences <laughs> letting go, a rebirth of some of my fear. My fear is alive and becoming controllable. I wouldn't say comfortable, but I am thankful for it. something everyone experiences in various forms throughout life. I believe I've grown because of pain and in spite of pain, just from moving. Emotionally, I've never felt so empty, like something had sucked the life out of me and left a shell. I had no energy to even complain or talk. Sleeping in bed was the most comfortable and safe place to be. Do I have to learn to live with pain? I'm really chicken. Sometimes I want to just give up. It seems like a struggle, too much struggle. Not sure whether this makes sense, but this is how it feels. I've realized the last few months that trying to reject the pain that I have and experience only makes it worse. So I've started to look at my pain in a different way. Instead of as an enemy, I've slowly, very slowly, 
try to understand pain as a feeling, just like any other feeling I have, like anger, sadness, or joy. I have slowly learned to accept my scarred face and the woman I see in the mirror as me. And